What's good people, it's your boy Antti Swan. We are back in New Bond Street, asking all things fashion. If you like this series, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, run the video. So guys, I'm back with the man himself that made me the hat. Introduce yourself, please. My name is Maxwell. What do you do, Maxwell? Uh, I'm a hat maker. Now guys, just appreciate on the wrists. Now it's one not enough, but he's got two. Oh, yeah. Yuck, <laughs> how greedy. Since when was one not enough? What is on your wrist today? Boat Sky Dweller, it's chocolate down, and uh, yeah. And please explain, why do you have two today? I just don't want to leave the atom. Just different. That's 100k on his wrist. That's a lot of time when you do the math. What are your top fashion brands? I wear anything nice, to be honest. There's too much noise about all these brands. Yes. Yeah. So do you prefer the understated brands? Yes. Yeah. I yeah. don't care who makes it, as long as, as I say, is it Clean, clean, clean. Yeah. 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 So I'm John, I study and I work here in London. Do you prefer streetwear or smartwear? As you can see, a bit of both. Combine them together, a bit of street, a bit of smart. So what are your top three fashion brands? Isumiyaki, definitely. Good choice. Alexander McQueen, that's another one. And I'd say the basic one, Laura Piano. So what do you like about these brands? Oh, Laura Piano, just the simplicity and the formality of it. Very old money, that's another that's thing. That's so true. Isumiyaki is once again the minimalism and how they style it. Alexander McQueen, just great overall. I feel like I prefer the female collection more than the male ones. I'm Sarah, I'm from New York. Hannah, and from Florida, but live in New York. Yeah. What are your top fashion brands? Sarah, I like you Fendi. Oh, I like Odd yeah. Muse right now. Okay. Ralph Lauren is super cool. Yeah, Ralph Lauren. Chloe, mm. I mean Bing, we were just in their store. Yeah. Very nice. So do you prefer um, high street or luxury brands? Probably high street Yeah. right now. Do you feel like luxury brands are overpriced? I mean, I think to a degree. I think they're used as a source of inspiration. Yeah. And but, you're paying for the quality. I'm Derhan. Uh, I live in London. I study here. What are your top fashion brands? One Turkish brand, Vakko, Laura Piana. Laura Piana. And Birioni. Birioni? Yeah. Interesting. What do you like about Laura Piana? Oh, I like that they can take like uh, very classic items yeah. and make things modern without making them absurd. My name is Lisa and uh, I'm a dance teacher. And I love uh, Burberry, Hermes, uh, Dior. What do you like about these brands? Just the design of their clothes. Do you feel like designer brands are overpriced? The high street ones like LV yeah. or Off-White, those kinds yeah, of things. They're price. very basic in a way. That's when we true. talk about, say, Dior, I think it's worth the price. Here I find it justifiable. My name is Leah and I work in marketing. What's the first thing you notice in a guy's outfit? It's probably his trousers, um, like the fit. And it's not too tight. It's like it's not like skinny jeans. <laughs> okay. The first item I would notice is probably your shoes. Probably shoes. Something and maybe patterned in a bright color, not just the navy black white. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't care about brand too much. It's more about if he looks nice and uh, clean. We heard Here's... someone say the first thing notice is a watch. So I oh. think two ladies, they said a watch. That's a good answer, but like I, I don't even them. notice your yeah. <laughs> Other things in men are more important. What do you mean by that? I, mean, I think jackets. I think there's you know a lot of opportunity to do something really unique. Yeah. So yeah. I think shoes too. Shoes. Yes. She look, she's just trying to insult me. All right. No, I'm like, she, like your she, shoes. she pass. Do they pass yeah, at least? Girl. Okay, good. Oh, your whole outfit's nice. Okay. Yeah. What's some fashion red flag in the guy's outfit? That when it's here? too flashy, like he's got big brand here, big brand here, big brand here, big, big brand here. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a bit tacky. If you had to have one fashion brand for the rest of life, what would it be and why? I would say maybe Ralph Lauren. Yeah. Just oh, yeah, because, that's a good one. Yeah, just because I feel like it's timeless. They have like a wide demographic that they cater to. Either Laura Piana or a Ralph Lauren. It would definitely be along the old money style, so something not super formal. I would say Ralph Lauren too. Ralph Lauren as well. Yeah. Uh, Laura Piano. Laura Piano as well. Or Xenia. What designer brand is most overrated? First thing comes to my head, Laura Piana. Since the old money trend a year ago, yeah. that's been the thing where everyone's talking about. Hermes bags. Hermes bags. That's yeah. the first time we've heard that. Why Hermes bags? Um, you need to wait in the queues for hours to go inside the boutique. Louis Vuitton for me is over, overpriced yeah. and the quality is not always so good. Mm. What fashion brand offers the best value for money? Gymshark is good. Pierre Cardin is another one. Ralph Lauren. They yeah. look good and they're not that expensive. Suit supply. Suit supply is a good choice. I'm waiting for that sponsorship. Suit supply. Yeah. Hit me up. Right over there. Why suit supply? They're very onto their quality. Good designs, simple, but daily designs that you can wear all the time. It's interesting. Yeah. If you had an unlimited budget, what three handbags would you buy right now? Probably a Chanel bag. Maybe a Birkin. <laughs> yeah. That's what we typically hear all the time. Yeah. I mean, I would maybe still go Chanel. Probably more neutral one. Goes with everything. Yeah. A Birkin, a Kelly, <laughs> of course. And a Chanel. I want a really small, cute 
like mini yeah. one that can only fit like my lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> and what color would you go with? Probably a brown, but then my favorite color is orange and they've Ooh, also got bright orange. orange. Yeah, yeah. No yeah. I like the brand Pauline. Very, very nice bags, very beautiful and good quality, nice design. The Miller. It's a London brand. Okay. Yeah. You're the first person on this channel that's not said a Chanel bag or a Birkin. It's nice bags, but I think that there are a lot of other bags that are the same quality and mm. also will suit you that's good. True. With an unlimited budget, what watches would you buy right now? Maybe Richard Mill. I don't know much about it, but if I have a limited budget, I'm willing to learn. I mean, I'll pick my first one. Exactly. So an RM, yeah. Yeah, Patek. Patek Philippe, yeah. standard choice. Yeah. Anyone? Uh, obviously, I'm going to get AP. Skeleton? skeleton. I, knew, I knew he was going to say the moment he said AP, I knew Skeleton was going to be yeah. on the card. Rose gold as well, yeah. yeah. I love my wrist game. It's like savings. You never go wrong with it. AP, Royal of uh, mm. Royal Oak, Royal Oak Shores. The limited edition one is really good. Definitely a Hublot, one of those. Mm. Just a classic minimalist. Third one, probably AP Skeleton. Would you feel safe wearing a watch in London? No, no, no way. So Every scared. time I see someone on a bicycle, I don't know. I mean, do you have a watch on today? Nope, nope. <laughs> I'm taking an Uber, I'm not. I would get a Cartier Crash, the Luce Aquanaut. I guess a 5712. Just With the references or just to throw it out there, just to flex on people. What watch would you like a guy to be wearing? I don't think that it's super important. It's a lot of guys have Rolexes, but I think that everyone have Rolex. A That's lot true. of people. Yeah. What's your most expensive fashion item you guys have? A um, Rolex. Okay, nice. Mine's Yourself? probably a YSL bag. We thought you were going to say, I'll get you that bag. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about that. Um, no. <laughs> One of the LV shoes, so the the white, very kind of flashy ones. <laughs> yeah. So, but they kind of broke down pretty quickly. So that's not the smartest expensive investment I have. Yeah. It's my sky do it. Yeah, is that yeah. the one you're wearing? Yeah, yeah. It's both of them, it's red. The chocolate down. Uh, the ultra thin AP. It's very comfortable. Do you feel safe wearing that in London? Oh no, I also, they just came to visit me here. I told them not don't bring to bring it. No, no, no. I don't bring anything here either, yeah. Welcome to London, people. Where's the safest place to wear your watch? Turkey. All right, we're gonna play a game with this or that. You just choose your preferred designer brands. Okay. Celine or Prada? Prada. Prada Gucci. Prada. Prada or Chanel? Chanel. <laughs> Chanel or Hermes? Ooh, <laughs> Hermes. Hermes or Laura Piana? Hermes. Hermes or Fendi? Hermes. <laughs> <laughs> Hermes or Alaya? Hermes. Hermes or Dior? Oh, I do love Dior, but I think in terms of an investment, Hermes. Mm. Hermes or Valentino? Again, if thinking in terms of investment, Hermes. <laughs> Fair enough. Is there anything topping Hermes? Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure. No? I'm, there, there probably is. But I'm probably not aware of it. Brands. Let's say one year anniversary, what do you want him to buy you? I think bags, jewelry and uh, shoes might be good yeah. with present. Huh. Or some beautiful dress, something special. Yeah, something meaningful. Yeah. Nice. Perfect, thank you so much.